When I finished my video from last week's episode, I was fully sure that this week I would be back out on my adventures and would smell the salt air and feel the rush of the sea once more. However, we were gifted with another week of 5 km lockdown. So this, of course, changed my plans, and my trip to the sea had to be postponed by another week. Now, lockdown for me has been a good challenge for my photography. I've experimented and challenged myself in ways I would never thought I would. Plus, I found some new and somewhat interesting locations to shoot. This morning, after waking later than planned, I found myself revisiting one of these new locations to see what it looked like at dawn. Will I be able to find some compositions one last time? Come join me and see. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm not on parole yet. We still have another week to go for lockdown. So I decided to come back to a place that I visited before. Uh, it's the dam where I got some nice reflections at sunset. And I said it was always a spot to come back to for sunrise. I arrived a small bit late, so I was kind of booking it along to get to an area down this way where the reeds were, I would have mentioned on the last time I was here in the video, but I can't get to the reeds because the amount of bog that I have to walk through there is actually not making it possible. Plus, I'm chasing the light. So just a moment ago here, I had a small bit of color. Uh, so I kind of scrambled down the bank here, uh, set the camera up very, very, very quickly threw on uh, a six stop as well to give me a small bit of control in relation to the light and get one photograph anyway to start me off. Don't know if I'm going to get some nice shots today. Um, you know, colour, yeah, maybe, maybe not. I think I've missed the best of the light actually already, believe it or not. But it's going to be hard for me, I think, to find a couple of compositions as well along here because it is quite um, muddy and boggy. But yeah, nonetheless, I'll certainly continue on. We'll still try and get a couple of shots anyway, but yeah, I'll play around here, wait for some clouds to come by that might still have a small bit of colour, and yeah, we'll uh, check back in. I'll be going to go back down the way I came and see if I can find something nice with the reeds that are here. I was also hoping as well that I'd have flat water, but when I arrived, it was quite windy, so yeah, best plans may not always come to fruition. But yeah, we'll continue on anyway, sure. Let's welcome to this episode, and we'll see how this one yields some shots. After what seemed to be a pretty frantic start to this morning, rushing to chase the light. Got that shot further on up here, but it's not going to be amazing. I don't think, but maybe it might be when I get it back to uh, home to be able to look at it because there was a nice bit of color and some clouds that were catching above the trees that we see over here. But as I'm walking back along here now, um, you've got this branch that's right below my feet here and it's halfway into the water so it's semi-submerged as well it might give me something different it might give me a foreground interest to be able to photograph i will have to go for a longer exposure i think because the water is not flat like it was when i uh, was here before but 
Um, by doing a longer exposure as well, then any movement that's going to be within these is going to show up as blur. So it will be a challenge to get a shot from here. I'll have to be wait and see if there is no wind or maybe take two exposures, one for the water to smooth out the water and then one as well for the branches. But I think that's probably going to be a hell of a lot of work in post for what isn't probably going to be an amazing image anyway. But yeah, I'm going to set the camera up anyway here see what kind of composition I can pull out of it. There's a couple of grasses as well that are next to you here and what I might do is I'll put on the polarizer and I'll be able to see into the water and see the grasses that are under the water as well on that shot but yeah I'll take this one anyway now then we'll take that one and we'll see what else this morning can yield. <laughs> So that's my normal alarm going off. So I should normally just be getting out of bed right now. So I'm glad that I got up early and glad that I got a head start on the day. But images today were uh, quite difficult, to be honest with you. Coming back to the same location that I had flagged before as being a good spot for sunrise. I do think it would be a good spot for sunrise, but a couple of things really. Number one, I was late. Number two, a lot of wind that I wasn't expecting, so I was hoping that the water here would have been calmer like the conditions I would have had the last time. And also the water as well is a lot lower this time, so the cascade that I photographed, which is just over here, the water isn't even reaching that level at the moment. So even if I wanted to get that type of shot again today, I couldn't have got it. So what I have done is experimented, and that's purely what it is, is an experimentation, seeing if I can get a couple of different shots, see what I can get pulling out of this location with the reeds and such like that. And now I've come back over to the walkway that I would have come across originally and exactly the same spot as well that I finished up the last episode of the vlog when I was uh, here. And what I'm doing here at the moment is there's not much color in the sky. I've got you uh, overexposed here to be able to see me because the light is coming from this side here. So you can't really see the sky on that image, but there's not much going on in the sky anyway. But I've put on my equivalent to my 10 stop it's my uh, ND1000 and what that's going to give me is a 30 second exposure to try and smooth out that water that you can see moving here behind me. Um, always I suppose good to be able to get out. Not really happy with my images if I'm being honest with you but again as always like I said earlier that could change when I get them back on the computer. There might be something there that jumps out at me but yeah challenging conditions anyway. Maybe the first shot that I got with the colour over the trees uh, when I was scrambling to be able to get a shot uh, at the beginning of the morning might be a nice one um, but here as well might be a nice one as well but either which way I'm still glad like I say to be able to get out glad now as well that this lockdown is finally over so you will definitely see me uh, by the coast on the next episode of my vlog thank you very much to everybody that stuck with me anybody that's joined me as well during this lockdown you know thank you very very much I really appreciate how my channel is growing hopefully like I say the next time I'll get back out we'll be at the sea and until then from me in a lockdown cork, Schlangefold. <laughs>